Imagine a garden with three temples in front of it. Every day a priest picks some flowers from the garden and as soon as he enters the first temple, the number of flowers double. He then offers some flowers to the temple and then moves to the next temple where the flowers double again. He then offers the same amount of flowers as he offered in the first temple there and then again moves to the next temple. And as soon as he enters the next temple, the number of flowers double again. And again he offers the same amount of flowers as in the first two temples. Now leaving the third temple, he had no flowers left. So the question is how many flowers he picks up from the garden and offers in each temple so that at the end he had no flowers left. So now pause this video here, take your time, solve this question, write the answer in the comments and then play this video to find out the answer. See what's the problem here? Suppose the priest picks one flower from the garden. As soon as he enters the first temple, there will be two flowers. Now suppose he offered one flower. Then he moves to the next temple, the number of flowers double again. Now again there are two flowers and he offers one. Then he moves to the next temple, the number of flowers double again. Now again there are two flowers and he offers one. And at the end he is left with one flower. So now this is the problem. There should be no flowers left at the end. So how can we do it? The answer simple maths okay so see suppose the priest picks up x flowers from the garden and in each temple he offers the same amount of flowers so suppose y so he picks up x flowers from the garden as soon as he enters the first temple it becomes 2x the number of flowers double now he offers y flowers there okay so he is left with 2x minus y flowers now he moves to the next temple, the number of flowers double again. So multiply this by 2. Then again he offers y amount of flower. So we are left with this minus y amount of flowers. Now again move to the next temple, multiply it by 2 and then subtract y to get the number of flowers we are left with. Now what is the number of flowers we are left with? 0. So put it equal to 0. So now you just have to solve this simple equation and the solution goes like this. So we are left with 8x is equal to 7y or we have x upon y is equal to 7 by 8. So the most simplest solution is x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 8. So this means he picks up 7 flowers from the garden and offers 8 flowers in each temple. So first let us look at this in action. So see. 7 flowers from the garden, they double, 14 flowers. Now he offers 8 flowers, so 14 minus 8. So we are left with 6 flowers. Moving to the next temple, 12 flowers, 12 minus 8, 4 flowers left. Then moving to the next temple, 8 flowers and he offers the full 8 flowers there. And at the end, we have no flowers left. Now in this equation, suppose you multiply the numerator and denominator by 2. So x becomes 14 and y becomes 16. So this will also solve this scenario. And if you multiply with any number, both numerator and denominator, you can get like infinite many solutions. So I hope you have enjoyed this fun puzzle. Thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.